I'm Cheesecake the Cat, and this is my show, Drawing with Cheesecake the Cat. And thank you for stopping by. So today we're going to draw the last in a series of robot drawings. And if that sounds like fun to you, grab something to draw with, something to draw on, follow me. All right, so let's begin drawing our robot. Now let's start with a dome-shaped head, maybe something like so. Kind of bring it down a little bit, kind of even at the bottom here. And we'll cross the bottom here with a nice little bend. We'll put maybe that's an eye, another eye, another eye, and another eye. Imagine that they're going all the way around. We'll give him a nice little smile in the middle. And let's give him something of a collar. So bring two lines down at the sides, and then we'll follow this a parallel curve with the one above it. And you could put dots or dashes, circles, squares, really anything you'd like. Then let's give him a nice rounded body. And down here, we're gonna make some legs. Be one leg and a second leg. And we'll carry it down and flare it out at the bottom. Do the same thing on this side. And then we'll bring a curve We'll bring an arch from, from tip to tip, and he'll have a mechanical knee joint. So we'll make a nice round kneecap. And we'll just put the line with the lower leg and the upper leg come together. We'll make a nice circle on his chest. Make a circle around it. Shapes don't have to be perfect. Sort of natural and organic is very interesting. But because he's a robot, I just thought, let's add a little bit of a line under each end of his mouth. And we can even make his mouth a little bit open, like so. And not that robots have tongues, but if we put a little arch on the inside, color the color black around it, you get the impression that it is a mouth. And let's, let's make these antennas instead of eyes. So you can change your drawing as you go. You can make it any way you like. There's no rule to drawing. So for the arms, we're going to give him flexible tubes, I guess you would say, flexible arms. You can make these go any way you like. You generally want to keep them about the same thickness and the same length, which it looks like I just made it a little thicker there, but we'll be okay. So cap the end with a slightly curved line, and then let's make a capital letter C lying on its back where it connects to the arm. How you draw your C is up to you. You could draw the outer arch and inner arch and then connect the ends. I'll look right there. I'll put a little bit of a, a line between. Let's put a dot right here, sort of like the hinge for the hand. Now the segments of his arm, you could curve these lines or keep them straight. I think I'll keep them straight. But you want to keep them generally the same distance between them. And then what we're going to do is make these look sort of metallic. And to do that, we're gonna put a thick line on the inner edge, or the bottom edge, I guess you'd say. But not really connecting, just sort of floating between the segments. I mean, the tip of this marker is a little thin, so I'm having to go back and forth a little bit, but depending on what you're drawing with, the main thing is to keep that, those shapes fairly thick. Then we'll 
put a very light line right above those. You can even wiggle it a little bit here and there. And this just sort of lends it a metallic sort of chrome look. Very shiny. Now the center piece of his body, you can put a circle if you like it, a triangle, maybe a rectangle, some lines, a portion of a circle there, some dots. Fill it in however you think looks good. Then let's give him sort of a waistline. We'll imagine it comes from the side to this shape and goes all the way over to this side. You could put a little bit of a line in his kneecap. That's pretty good. So now let's just add a few doodads to make our robot look complete. And I'll keep mine generally to the right for no real reason, just seem to be the right way to go. Let's put one on the outer right hand edge of the center shape. And that is our robot. Good job, everyone. Wow, it sure was fun drawing that robot. And if you had fun too, I sure hope you will follow the Drawing with Cheesecake the Cast Show. And until next time, draw, 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 and draw some more. Bye-bye.